Kigali has a reputation for order that is rare on a continent of sprawling and sometimes chaotic metropoles. And lately, city authorities have stepped up measures against hawkers on the streets, which activists say can be draconian. Officials deny the charges. If I can no longer make a living doing this job, then it will be the end of my family. I left the village because there was nothing else to do, and I'm not going to become a thief so that I can earn a living. I don't know how to do anything else. I didn't go to school. What else can I do? I can't tell you what will happen if they stop us continuing. Thousands of hawkers sell juices and fruit in plastic cups. They also sell merchandise, such as cheap sunglasses and trinkets, trying to make a living in a nation where per capita income is just $730 a year. We cannot compete with people who have stalls at the market because we do not have the money to buy stalls at the market. What we are asking the authorities is to support us, to put us in one place, and we can even pay taxes. We don't mind doing that because when they come and take our products away and beat us, then we don't get to make a living and we suffer. If I'm arrested today, then taken away, then I cannot earn a living. Kigali's mayor said the plan was making progress, but noted that the authorities wish the process could be much quicker. Jane Kale, CCTV.